Document 360 provides two types of editors, the Markdown Editor and a What You See Is What You Get or WYSIWYG Editor. Selecting the right editor depends largely on your preference and comfort. Each one has their own advantages, but both editors let you add links, images, videos, callouts, code blocks, and more. In this video, we'll take a quick look at both and when one editor might suit a certain workflow over another. First, let's look at the Markdown Editor, which is powered by a lightweight Markdown language for creating formatted text. It is tool and platform agnostic, which means that any platform that supports the Markdown language will be able to read the same content. You simply need to copy and paste the Markdown text. It's a highly versatile environment to easily create your content in a human-readable syntax. The Markdown Editor is especially suited for content writers who are already familiar with markup language as it provides a great interface and user experience. The panel is divided into two sections. On the left is the actual Markdown Editor area. On the right is a preview area, providing real-time feedback as you build your documentation. This can be very helpful to visualize the final appearance of the document without needing to save and publish each time you want to see your article. Knowing the Markdown syntax can really speed up your workflow here. Formatting can be quick and efficient once you get the hang of it. If you forget a syntax or if you are new to Markdown, Document360 provides a couple of tools to help you out. One way is by clicking on the Markdown shortcut at the bottom of the page. This gives a quick peek into some of the most commonly used syntaxes. The other method is to use the toolbar on the top of the editor to format the document to your needs. Say for example, you wanted to make this a numbered list. Just highlight the text and click on the ordered list button. It's that simple. Speaking of the toolbar, there are a number of actions you can take to get your document looking the way you want. You may want to insert an image or video, or insert a horizontal line here. You can even bring in code blocks into your article for users to copy and create tables right from here. As you can see, there is much more to explore in the Markdown Editor. Now let's move to the WYSIWYG Editor, also known as the HTML Editor. Looking at the interface, you may immediately notice similarities to typical word processing applications like Microsoft Word. This is aimed at content writers who may be new or inexperienced users to help them quickly build content. You can simply copy and paste data from any word processing application right into the canvas. The WYSIWYG Editor provides some rich formatting options that are not available in the Markdown Editor. For example, the WYSIWYG Editor has options for inserting subscripts and superscripts which are not available in the Markdown Editor. Creating tables is as simple as clicking this icon and selecting the number of rows and columns. You can easily insert images and videos to your articles. As you can see, anyone familiar with a word processing application will feel right at home here. One important point to keep in mind is that you have the option to change from Markdown to WYSIWYG Editor whenever you'd like, but it is not possible to go back to Markdown once you switch to the WYSIWYG Editor, and Document360 will prompt you just to make sure if you want to make the switch. In summary, if you're a content writer familiar with the Markdown language, we would highly recommend the Markdown Editor because it'll allow you to build content faster. However, if you're new to the world of content writing and are used to tools like Word or other word processing applications, you'll find the WYSIWYG Editor interface quite suited for your workflow. 